for asymptotics of the W theorem. We want to, to make a relation to uh, an exact, to, to value of, uh, to value at finite K. So, and uh, for, in order to do this, so one has to talk about, uh, so one way to do this is to talk about uh, what is called analytically continued uh, Chern Simons theory. So, uh, so what is the, what is the goal? Goal is uh, some sort of, uh, Define uh, a set Q uh, for uh, K, a complex number. So away from uh, from a positive integer. And uh, so one of the motivation from this is that, so we know that, for example, a Jones polynomial, color Jones polynomial of, uh, of uh, any link is, uh, so is a Laurent polynomial in, uh, well, depends on normalization, is a Laurent polynomial in Q inverse, where Q, so if you want to relate it to, uh, to the level, in the chern simon theory, and the level is related by S two pi over k. So this defines this is uh, some analytic function in Q or analytic function in k. So this is defined for any complex k. And here, so this kind of uh, the fact that this is a polynomial in Q is very important uh, uh, part of the uh, definition of Havanov homology, of course, the verification of this thing. So we want. Uh, uh, so this is a part of the motivation of this thing. And uh, so how do we do this? So the, the basic idea is that, uh, so if, again, if you have some sort of finite, if you have a finite dimensional integral, suppose over some just real line uh, of some function of x, which is uh, has some, uh, which is an analytic function on X, we actually can always understand it as a, as a sort of integral of uh, some contour, which is line here in this particular case of uh, on the complex plane, where you can see the now F, we extend this function F to a complex plane, to the whole complex plane, and uh, now we have an integral uh, of a line in the complex plane, now we, we are allowed to some, do some sort of deformation, contour deformation as we want to simplify expression. And so we want uh, kind of this uh, general perspective to apply in a sense to some infinite, infinite dimensional context. And uh, uh, so this is kind of, uh, uh, so uh, we, we want to define, so naively, I mean suppose, uh, uh, suppose, uh, so na the, na the naive definition if you want, so the ana of analytically continued chern Simons will be as follows, so this will have some labels gamma and it will depend on k, so k will be some, now some just complex number. And uh, so we wish uh, to define it as follows. And uh, so gamma will be a contour in a certain space. So some sort of half dimensional contour. Uh, so first of all, what is this, uh, what's this space? So naively we want, uh, as here, we want some sort of complexified version of the space of SU2 of SU2 uh, connections, model gauge transformations.
But what, what we actually need to do is a bit different thing. So again, so naively to do a quantification of the, of the space of SU2 connections, we, we just replace SU2 connections to SL2C connections. And uh, but uh, we want a quotient. Uh, when we do a quotient, we have to be careful. So we want, uh, first of all, we want now this to be defined for any complex K. And we also, we also actually want this manifold in order to do some sort of uh, uh, statements. We want this, we, it would be fine to have this manifold to be a smooth manifold. So what we want to do is want to quotient over based gauge transformations connected to uh, trivial gauge transformations. So based means that it's, uh, so the gauge transformation is a map from, a, is determined by a map from a three manifold to uh, now SL to C. And uh, uh, so we're connected to trivial that we, we can continuously deform it to a trivial map. And based means that we fix a, we, we fix a point in M3 and we require that G of this point is identity. So the, the, the first modification makes this uh, manifold to be smooth. So if I if if I if I if I, if I caution the base gauge transformation act freely on, on the space space of all connections. And the second modification uh, li, uh, the it uh, lifts the requirement that k should be integer. So the requirement that k should be integer came from the fact that uh, we wanted the whole expression to be invariant under all gauge transformations. But if you only caution with respect to base gauge, uh, sorry, gauge transformation connected to identity, then uh, we can put any complex k here. And. Uh, Well, uh, well, I mean by the smooth that uh, this this acts freely. Okay, but you don't mean that that manifold that, that, that either is a smooth manifold. Well, I mean, if I start with some sort of a fine space. I mean, so far this is some sort of naive uh, heuristic, but uh, from which I want to make some precise conjecture. I mean, I start the, the, just the space of. Connections is just some of, so since this, 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 all these bundles are trivial, this is just a confined space. Yeah, I, I just some, some, some from a fine space and quotient by some group, group which acts freely. So I would, I, I, I think it's, it's smooth. So the based uh, motivation, so this would be smooth. And uh, connected to one uh, is that we want uh, we want uh, uh, this 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 uh, sink exponential of transformation function to be well defined. Because if I quotient over all all guys, this is not going to be well defined on this. This is not going to be defined, well defined functional on the space. Yes. Yes. Yes, because uh, I mean, I could, again, so this one can see. So this is some affine space, and now I, I caution with respect to. So this 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 gauge transformations, they all I could, they all have one. So in general, I mean, kind of uh, if I start from some. Uh, uh, Simply uh, some sort of affine space E and quotient respect on some group. Uh, the, the fundamental group is pi zero of this. Come on, now it's trivial. So before before the fundamental group was uh, uh, Z, and now the fundamental group is trivial. Okay. 
Sorry, say, say it again. This is SL2C connection. Yeah, well, I can understand this uh, space. So let me understand as a, as a cover, indeed, of, a, of, a, of, a, of, the, of the usual space of SL2C. Some, some projection. Where here I quotient over, make the usual quotient over all gauge transformations, not based. Well, no, the Chern Simons functional, so I can understand uh, this, uh, some big space. And uh, so I have a value Chern Simons functional which, is which is now takes values in C. So before, if I, if I want to define uh, Chern Simons functional here, it will take values in C mod Z. Now it takes values in C. So I can understand this uh, kind of the space to be fibered over a complex plane. And uh, uh, so if this is a kind of, if this is a, uh, the, the, the real part, uh, then uh, uh, th this uh, kind of, uh, th the extra quotient means uh, a quotient with respect to translations by Z in this direction. No, no, but here I want K to be complex, not, uh, that's the point. I want k to be complex, um, not uh, uh, not integer. I want this to be uh, to be uh, to be a certain uh, uh, a, a certain map uh, to complex numbers on the space over which I integrate. By the way, this is uh, kind of this approach is uh, is due to Witten and also Kantsevich. Although there is no actually published work by Kantsevich, but he gave uh, you can find some talks. As, as usual, you can find some talks. Of <laughs> uh, okay, so uh, good. So so. So, and then uh, the, the point is that, uh, so gamma is a contour, uh, so the, so, so which uh, represents, which should represent a, a cycle in a uh, element in, in a certain uh, homology group. So this will be homology of, uh, so half dimensional, mid dimensional homology group of, uh, this space relative uh, to a certain uh, uh, to, to, to a certain subspace. So let me call it uh, B with integral coefficients, where B is uh, so. Let me be kind of is a, I can understand kind of a, uh, B as a subspace of the boundary of the space where uh, uh, the value of chern simons the, the imaginary part of the chern simons of, uh, so let me write it like this, uh, the, the, real, the real part of ik times chern simons is uh, uh, much less uh, than zero. Essentially, if I, if I understand some, what, what happens here, so there is this uh, big space, A, S, L, to C, and uh, there is, a, so it's, it's non-compact space, but uh, at, a, at a certain point when we, when we go away, there will be certain regions where uh, this, uh, this function it becomes exponentially small. And we, all, we only allow, of course, to, for this uh, integral to be kind of uh, 
at least uh, heuristically well defined, we only allow gamma uh, uh, to uh, to go to those regions at the at the at the, at the non-compact directions of the space. Okay, and. Uh, And now there is the following statement. So there is a, the this uh, well. Let me denote it uh, by I don't know H H has a basis uh, given uh, well represented by what is called Lefschetz symbols. Uh, so where alpha is uh, will be in, a con in the uh, labels, it's labeled by the connected component of the modified space of SL2C uh, flat connections. So this, uh, uh, so this, uh, there is a subspace of uh, critical points of uh, chan Simons functional here, which I which denote by MSL to C flat. Again, as before, it can be explicitly expressed using the Holmes from pi one to M3, now to SL to C, and uh, times Z. So you see the difference between the usual uh, space of uh, flat connections is that first I don't quotient with respect to conjugate action, and this corresponds to the fact that I quotient, here I quotient only respect to Beige Gesumich. And there also be the extra Z factor which corresponds to uh, lifting, uh, lifting the flat connections on in, the, uh, in, in, the, in the true space of uh, uh, SL2C connections, model Auger expansions, to this universal, to the universal color. So in particular, if I have uh, some critical points uh, here, so they will do this, uh, I don't like this, so, uh, or maybe they, they may be non-isolated. And here, so they projected to some critical values, they will all come in, uh, in towers labeled by Z. So suppose I uh, explicitly choose, uh, okay. So when you def define gamma alpha as uh, uh, steepest uh, so union of uh, steepest descent pass uh, starting from a compact uh, mid dimensional subspace of uh, connected component of uh, M tilde flat SL to C, label it by alpha. So we label for, uh, connected component by alphas. So how does it look like? Roughly you can imagine so the steep descent flows will look like this.
this uh, the gamma, gamma alpha. So if, the, if this is, uh, for example, gamma alpha, lab, the, the kinetic point will be by alpha d, and this will be gamma alpha d. Now, if, if this is alpha 1, and if this is connected component will be by alpha 2, then this will be uh, gamma alpha 2. And uh, what's important here, one can argue, easily argue, that they all this, all the extra symbols with respect to this map, they all projected to some ray, to rays going in, in one direction. Okay. And uh, so, okay, so this contour, which we had before, then can be, uh, uh, since this is a basis, the, uh, this contour can be decomposed with respect to, with some integer numbers, with respect to uh, the corresponding basis. And uh, uh, so in particular, so the integral, if I have some integral over the contour gamma, uh, this will be a, a direct sum uh, with the coefficients and alpha, where I alpha where I alpha is integral over this uh, base of the, of, the, of the corresponding left shift symbol. Okay. And the important property here is that, uh, so if you, if you, if you want to use fine, uh, you can find a dimensional intuition, the, the important property here is that uh, it's uh, uniquely, the, the value of such uh, contour over left shift symbol is uniquely determined by asymptotic expansion uh, around uh, uh, corresponding connected component of Well, I, I make it uh, I make it precise. So one can so uh, so this is the intuition kind of, and now I want to make some uh, precise. Uh, uh, hmm? Well, you, so suppose you have a, you know you know uh, all uh, all coefficients of the symptotic expansion. Then you there is two two all order. Then you can write explicit formula for this guy in terms of these coefficients. No, I, I'm here. Suppose my contour gamma has decomposition, has the following decomposition with respect to this ba the basis contours. Do you know the n alpha or you don't know? Uh, well, I will, I will, we, well they, they can be, uh, in principle, we don't know, but I mean, they can be determined from topology of, uh, of, of, of the space. Well, now I don't make any statement about what, what do you know by n alpha, but uh, I, will make a, I will make some conjecture which tells you what are the constraints on those, uh, on those coefficients. I was just asking, are you saying if you know the n alpha, then you can find i alpha, or are you saying if you know the n alpha? No, this, this, is, no this, is a, this statement is independent. It has nothing to do with n alphas. This is just a statement about about a particular contour of a left shift symbol. Yeah, this, this statement has nothing, to, has nothing to do with those analogs. I'm just, say, I'm just saying, if you know the coefficients and alpha, so the question of calculation, calculation of, of the, over this contour is reduced to the, to the, to the question of calculation over those contours. That's it. Uh, well, 
Uh, okay, let me, uh, yeah, I don't, I'm out of time, but, uh, well, let, let me, uh, let me make a kind of not, uh, let me just start to make a kind of first part of the conjecture, which I want to make. So conjecture A, uh, suppose this perturbative invariance, which I considered before, are well-defined. So we are under those assumptions that those people uh, consider, those people define those perturbative invariants, then uh, consider the following uh, series. And uh, so we define those series, and the statement that uh, uh, has a finite radius of uh, convergence, and moreover, uh, can be analytically continued uh, to a cover so let me continue here to cover of uh, complex plane minus uh, a bunch of points removed where xa alpha are, uh, are values, are critical values of uh, Chern Simons functional that is values on the uh, on the corresponding compo connected components of the flat connections. Uh, so of course here we consider the values plus z, so all possible values here. All possible. And uh, and uh, uh, the integral B alpha xi e to the minus k xi over a contour, which I, I take a contour, I start with xi alpha, and uh, so this is a critical value uh, corresponding to this uh, flat connections, so I consider any lift to the universal cover here, it doesn't matter, uh, and I go in the direction uh, determined uh, by the uh, by the by, by the argument of k, so this is essentially in in this uh, in this plane, I can understand psi as is living in this plane, and this is a contour which I'm taking, and so in the statement it is convergent if uh, uh, contour does not pass through other critical values. So this means if I, if I continue this ray, it doesn't encounter uh, the critical values, any other critical values. And uh, so if, uh, sorry, uh, so then, then if this conjecture if, tr if true, then I can define I alpha by this integral. Okay, okay let me, sorry for going over time, let me stop here. Questions? Yes? Why did you 
well, to, in order to make uh, to, to, to make to make this uh, the space over which I integrate to be smooth, because the I mean the usual uh, this Picard left. So we are kind of using uh, w w uh, some sort of Picard left the heuristic of Picard left theory in in finite dimensional set, uh, case, and there we want uh, the manifold over which we integrate to be a complex smooth manifold. Yes. Well, the k k determines uh, the direc the, this direction <laughs> because uh, the, 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 the steepest discern like these the, the, uh, left shift symbols the, in their definition uh, they have a. Uh, uh, so the steepest descent pass uh, with respect to sorry uh, yeah well I, I wrote this kind of uh, the condition uh, to be so with respect to real part of. Uh, I K uh John Simons. Uh this is just uh John Simons. Yeah, this is just John Simons. So here is the large is in this picture the large gauge transformation sh make make a shift uh, by int by an integer in this direction. Just uh, just uh, well uh, sorry wh okay so, sorry I so the yeah. Just uh, yeah, the, the, yeah. The shift, the, the large transformations make a shift of transformers by an integer. Yes, because the, I mean the choice of this basis depends on k. So I mean the, the homology says the definition of homology itself depends on, on K. <coughs> yeah, this is uh, what I will I mean this was the first part of the conjecture. The second there will be other part of the conjecture which discuss discuss the behavior of those guys uh, with respect to K. So here again, so everything here is defined is defined for a particular K here, right? This definition depends on K. So once, uh, so and, and the, there is assumption that this contour doesn't go through other critical points. But I want to say, well, there also is a stamp statement one can make what happens if I go through other critical points.